Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Health Solutions with Sean and Janet Needham, where Team Needham discusses everything healthcare. I'm your host, along with my wonderful wife, Janet. And not only is this another edition of Health Solutions, but this is a very special edition of Health Solutions. We are streaming live from the Free Market Medical Association Annual Conference in Fort Worth, Texas. I almost said Dallas, but it's really close to Dallas, but it's really not close to Dallas if you really know Texas that well. So, Janet, tell us a little bit about what's going on at the Free Market Medical Association. Well, so far this morning, we're learning how physicians and uh, professionals are navigating the system to stay in the free market or become part of the free market, which is truly exciting because it's happening all over the nation. And even in the last year, we're just seeing pop-ups and we're also seeing stories of of physicians and MDs who actually treaded the water earlier and and they're having great success, which is a win-win for our patients and our communities because access to care is really what this is all about and quality access is really what our mission is, is that our clients, our, our, our patients have access to providers that are going to give them a quality service and the end, it's not going to bankrupt them. That's absolutely right. And you know what, Janet, at Moses Lake Professional Pharmacy, we were pioneers in the free market medicine movement. Um, Twenty Over 20 years ago, we stopped billing insurance, and we were called crazy by many people. Um, we People were saying we weren't going to be in business much longer, and, and here we are 20-plus years later, and we're actually thriving and loving what we do, and not most, most pharmacists can't say that. Can you speak to that, Janet? It's unfortunate, but I hope the movement will change, that we will actually give uh, our profession back to our roots, where we actually have um, time to actually spend with our patients and actually give them quality care. But under the current model, most pharmacists are not usually very happy about their situation or where they're working, and it's it's not always a very work-healthy uh, environment, and the outcomes for their clients are not as healthy as well sometimes. So, And one of the most special things about coming to conferences like this is we get to meet with like-minded people. Um, sometimes it can get kind of lonely out there in free market medicine. You just wonder if you're crazy. Well, you come here and you realize you're not crazy right. because there are hundreds of us that are thinking the same way. And speaking of those people, we're going to interview a couple of them. We've met a lot of good contacts while we're here, and we're going to interview a couple of good doctors. One of them not too far from me in Moscow, Idaho, um, Dr. Rodney Story, and he has got a great story about how he switched into a direct primary care practice four years ago and was... You know, definitely, like Janice said, maybe treading water, maybe a little bit nervous about it, but he did it for the right reasons, and he is thriving, absolutely thriving, um, and we're going to sh- share his story. Stay tuned for that. We're going to record that, and we will upload it to our podcast forums later on, and after him, we will also have Dr. Um, Edward Williams, and he is pretty a little bit newer to DPC, but he had the same kind of experience, and he has a, re- a renewed interest in, in medicine and in family practice and he loves what he's doing and that's what I love about working with DPC doctors. I have never met one of them that doesn't love what they're doing and I can't say the same for doctors in traditional medicine. So if you are looking for an alternative doctor because you don't like your traditional medicine doctor because he doesn't take enough time with you, he doesn't uh, educate you enough, he prescribes too many medications, look up direct primary care. Um, get a hold of us through the pharmacy. We can refer you to a doctor. So um, stay tuned for those uh, those podcasts um, uploaded to our forums later on. Janet, what do you want to finish with? I just want to say that um, you are in charge of your health care. Take responsibility. Don't accept what the, the status quo is. And, and be involved and you will find solutions. Absolutely. Well, thank you all for listening and watching today. We really appreciate you and stay tuned for those upcoming podcasts.